All right, everyone, buckle up, because today we're diving headfirst into the whirlwind that is Silicon Valley. A whirlwind, that's one way to put it. Like this, this unstoppable force of innovation, right? And the craziest part, it's not just about lines of code and algorithms, it's reshaping our world, like, at warp speed and nobody has all the answers it's yeah, like we're yeah. watching this grand experiment unfold in real time exactly and that's what we're diving into today we're dissecting a recent youtube video exploring silicon valley innovation opportunities and challenges in recent years it's packed with insights i caught that one too it's a pretty wild ride through the valley so if you're even remotely curious about where technology is taking us you're in the right place this deep dive, folks, it's going to be a wild one. So the video kicks off by painting this picture of Silicon Valley, and it's no surprise it's still the hub for tech innovation. No doubt. But the interesting bit, at least for me, was how much has changed, even just since, what, 2020? Right, like hitting fast forward on, well, everything. And the video really hammers home this idea of a shifting landscape. Mm -hmm. Things are changing faster than ever. One of the biggest game changers. AI, artificial intelligence, and its trusty sidekick, automation. Yeah, those aren't just buzzwords anymore, are they? They're reshaping industry, hack the entire global economy. I mean, PwC's 2023 Global AI Survey, they estimated AI could add a whopping $15.7 trillion to the global economy by 2030. Think about that for a second. That's an insane amount of money. It's mind-boggling. And the video, it highlights how some companies are already riding this AI wave to incredible heights like NVIDIA, you know, the folks behind those super powerful AI chips, their stock value has basically tripled in the last year it's alone. It's like striking gold in the digital age. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. But here's a curveball I bet nobody saw coming remote work. Remember when everyone thought Silicon Valley was all about being in the office 24 seven? Well, this video shows how wrong we were. It's almost funny, isn't it? Silicon Valley was practically leading the charge on remote work with companies like Twitter and Facebook. They were all over it, offering those permanent remote options left and right. And it makes you wonder what happens to the very idea of Silicon Valley if everyone's working from their, you know, virtual office. So it's a question a lot of people are grappling with. But it's not just the tech giants, right? The video gets into how this whole remote work shift is sending shockwaves through everything, real estate prices, commutes, even just the overall vibe of Silicon Valley, it's all in flux. Totally, like take a look at places like Palo Alto and Menlo Park real estate there, it went haywire. Prices dropped, then rebounded, it's been a roller coaster. And then you've got companies, even giants like Google and Apple, trying to figure out this whole hybrid model thing. Three days in the office, four days, who knows? It's a whole new world of work. No kidding, it's like trying to hit a moving target. <sighs> but speaking of changing landscapes, we can't forget in the room crypto and web 3 remember when it felt like everyone and their grandma was talking about it the video really dies into whether it's lived up to all the hype yeah the hype was real wasn't it venture funding for web 3 startups it exploded in 2021 something like over 18 billion dollars but then by 2023 things cooled down a bit mainly because of all the regulatory question marks popping up so what happened did the bubble burst well not exactly it's more like things are settling a bit. See, all the hype, it kind of overshadowed what Web3 and blockchain are really about. It's bigger than just cryptocurrency. It's about decentralization, about giving users more control over their data, their online lives. And that's not going away anytime soon. But you know, it's easy to get lost in all the tech jargon, the billions of dollars, the sheer scale of it all. What I found really fascinating about the video was its focus on the human side of Silicon Valley. Right, because it's not just about the ones and zeros, is it? It's about the people, the culture, the energy that exactly. makes Silicon Valley what it like, is. Like the video talks about how you can be walking down the street and bam, you're face to face with the Googleplex. Or you stumble upon the Facebook campus. These aren't just office buildings. They're like landmarks in the tech world. It's like a pilgrimage for totally. the digitally mind. But then mind. the video shifts gears and it starts talking about the things you might not expect, like the cafe culture. Ah, yes, the legendary Silicon Valley cafes, places where a casual conversation could spark the next billion no dollar startup. The video specifically mentions Koopa Cafe in Palo Alto. Has you ever been there? Can't say I have, but I've heard the stories. It's like the unofficial headquarters That's what it sounds of Silicon like. Valley. The video makes it sound like the walls are practically buzzing with ideas. But it's not just the cafes, mm -hmm. right? There's this whole ecosystem that fuels the innovation in Silicon Valley. 
Absolutely. And the video does a great job of highlighting that. Like you can't talk about Silicon Valley without It's Stanford like the University. breeding ground for tech titans, right? Seriously. Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the founders of Google, they met at Stanford. Reed Hastings, the guy behind Netflix, another Stanford alum. The list goes on it's and on. It's mind-blowing when you think about it. But okay, let's get real for a second. The video doesn't sugarcoat it. Working in Silicon Valley, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. It's high stakes, it's competitive, and the pressure is intense. Yeah, the video definitely doesn't shy away from that. It's a demanding world, for sure. Ah. But on the flip side, there's also the potential for incredible rewards. The opportunity to work on cutting-edge technology, to collaborate with some of the brightest minds on the planet, to be part of something truly groundbreaking. Okay, so let's say someone's listening to this, and they're thinking, all right, I'm ready to take the plunge, I want to be a part of this world. What does it actually take to crack the code and make it in Silicon Valley? So, spill the secrets. What's the golden ticket to Silicon Valley? Well, the video breaks it down into two paths. You've got your tech folks, the ones who live and breathe The digital code. pioneers. Exactly. And for them, it's all about skills, raw talent. It's not about flashing a fancy degree. It's about what you can actually create. Think of it like this. Your GitHub profile. That's your resume in Silicon GitHub. Valley. For those of us who aren't fluent in code, what is that exactly? It's like a portfolio, but for coders. They showcase their projects, contribute to open source software. It's all about proving yourself in the real world. Employers, they it's eat like that stuff up. It's like a digital proving ground. Precisely. But here's the thing. You don't have to be a coding ninja to make it in really? Silicon Valley. That's good news for a lot of us. What's the other path then? It's all about bridging the gap. You've got these brilliant minds building incredible technology, but someone needs to translate that into something, you know, I see, human make it usable. Make sense for the rest of it. Exactly. That's where product managers, UX UI designers, even business strategists, they come in. They're the ones who connect the dots between the tech so, and the user. Like the interpreters of the tech world. You got it. Think about someone like a product manager. They need to understand the tech the market, and everything in between. They're the bridge, making sure the final product actually, you know, does something That takes some want. serious skill. A absolutely. And don't forget about communication. You've got to be able to talk tech with the engineers, then turn around and explain it all in plain English to everyone else. It's a balancing act, for sure. But the video, it doesn't shy away from the realities of Silicon Valley either. It's not just ping pong tables yeah, and free Yeah, we've talked snacks. about the pressure, the competition, the cost of living, even the whole burnout thing. It's a lot to handle. It is. It's a high stakes environment. But here's the thing. The video also captures that undeniable allure, that sense of being on the cutting edge of, well, everything. It's this and weird that's Silicon Valley in a nutshell, right? So here's the question for everyone listening. After taking this deep dive, after seeing both the dazzling heights and the potential pitfalls, would you thrive in that kind of environment? Because one thing's for sure, Silicon Valley, for better or for worse, it's shaping the future. One line of code, one brilliant idea, one groundbreaking product at a time. And that's something worth thinking about, because even if we never step foot in Silicon Valley, its impact on our lives, Couldn't it's undeniable. Couldn't have said it better myself. And on that note, folks, we're wrapping up this deep dive into the heart of the tech world. Hmm. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep those brain cells firing.